So let's say that I wanted to write a formula. Notice that I'm on the form responses tab. Now if I just do this here like I, um, I want to write my formula. So I'll put here equals if cell C2 equals male comma this is for a boy otherwise this is for a girl. So I just write a formula on there. I push enter and I drag it down so it copies the formula. So you notice anywhere it says female it now says this is for a girl and where it says male it says this is for a boy. I just wrote a random formula. Let me go ahead and drag this all the way down. And then I'm going to keep dragging further than I have responses. So you'll notice that this form is only filled in up to line 76, but I kept my formula going so that if uh, someone else were to fill out the form, if I get a 77th um, line in there, that the form would automatically associate with the formula. Here's the problem. Let me go to form. I'm going to go to the live form. I'm just going to fill this out really quick. So we'll say I have a 10th grader who's a male and never cheated on a test and I hit submit. All right, so that should automatically be on the spreadsheet. Right there it is. This is the one I just filled out. It does it instantly. That's a really nice feature of Google Forms. But notice now here there's this blank where the formula would have been. And that is because it inserted a row rather than adding it to the next row. So notice if I right click on the side and I go insert one row above that it inserted the row and the formula did not get copied to the inserted row. So that means every time somebody submits a form, the formula that I wrote next to it is not going to show up. And so I would have to go to the row above, grab the corner and pull it down to copy that formula every single time I get new data submitted, which can kind of be a little bit of a pain. This is one reason I like to not write my formulas on the form response tab. I like to write my formulas on other sheets so that uh, this insert row thing might not be affected.